This is a quickie calibration on a WE7. We're going to first remove the two screws that hold the control panel on. And look at that, we use Allen keys. How easy is that? Universal. They're probably Imperial, which is fine, but. Oh, and there it is. How do you like that? And you can see the control board on it. All right, we have a control board that's mounted to a heat sink over here. All right. We have the pot, the potentiometer adjustment, and and the AC or DC field, sorry. Right. And then um, on this board is a potentiometer that we have to adjust to make sure the yoke just le lifts 50 pounds. You can see the potentiometer back there, the white guy, there it is. Okay. Now we're gonna take it over our 50 pound pull test bars and start making the adjustments and see where it'll lift now and the adjustments we do to see how much the weight is affected by it lifting. Power is plugged in so everything's live back here. We have our AC DC selector switch. Right now it's set to AC. We'll put it in the yoke arm. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna switch it to DC. Put it on. And we'll try to lift it now and see what happens, okay? So just for safety's sake, we're putting the module back in, turning it to DC, turn it to full power, and we'll lift. Oh, look at that. Does it lift 10 pounds? No, so we've got to turn it up slightly, okay? So we're going to pull out the module again, unplug for safety, sure and go to the potentiometer and then uh, we'll turn down just a bit. I have my special vernacular for, you, for describing that. Whoa, look at that, okay, beautiful. But so that so. now lifts 50 pounds. That's close enough for the girls we run with. Put the control panel back on with the two fasteners and you're ready to go.